Hello and welcome back to the Xverse 11 Road to Glory series. In the last part we unfortunately lost 3-0 to Rome United and in this part we're going to be facing Gosselton's Knights in the third league game of the season. Now you may have noticed a few things about the picture on screen. First of all the form tendency for every player is positive and secondly that there are a few differences in the squad from last time out and the squad this time out. Well, Juliano Royas has been sold to Nightingale United to make some money that could be used to put into training for this team. Aurelio Picasso has also been sacked and replaced with Spards Joe's Bjarne Anarod. He will be backup keeper to Kanji Aratani and in some games I may even start him if I think the opposition is going to be a bit too strong for Aratani to handle. In other news, Oshin Burke has recovered from injury and we came back from 3-1 down against Melwood Athletic in a friendly to win 5-3. With these changes in mind, let's move on to the team selection. So this is the team I've gone with. With us playing at home I decided to revert to the 3-5-2 formation that worked so well against Hurricane United. We were Aratani in goal, a back three of Gorga, Roddick and Van der Kreis, a midfield of Kanamasas, Mehaya, Kigakovsky, Burke and Hargreaves, and a front two of McQuiston and Mota. The bench is Bjarn Arnerod, Javi Alonso, Marius Clean, Jose Juan Casado and Aquila Santa Maria. And unfortunately guys my VIP has run out so I can't show you all the possession stats and other match scores during the match. If you'd like to see them Ken and if you'd like me to buy VIP full time then leave a comment in the video below saying so. Gosselton's Knights line up in a 4-4-2 formation with Dinapoli in goal, a back four of Alaves, Adebola, Gus Zubia and Bingo Etcher, a midfield of Ferreira, Charisteas, Masovic and Costanzo, and a front two of Fiavol and Velez. Gosselton's Knights are the fourth strongest team in the entire division, but despite that they are on their second manager of the season. Ultra 90 took over from the Sax Yogi on tour However, he hasn't been seen in 12 days. This means he won't have set tactics for this match, so I'm expecting an easy win today. Now let's go live to the resistance arena for the match. Both teams are in their first choice kit colours. Sammy McQuiston and Azar Masovic are the captains, and Charlie Fender is the referee. The game gets underway. Wait for it. And there's an early free kick in a dangerous position for Knights of Sidonia. As usual, it's Gavin Gordon to take it. Please score! Yes, he can! 1-0 to the Knights of Sidonia. Inside two minutes, Gavin Gordon with a free kick directly into the back of the net. As of this free kick, Gavin Gordon is now our top scorer this season. Yes, I know, a defender is the top scorer of this season. He has another chance to do a free kick. Can he score this time? And the ball is deflected by Sebastiano Di Napoli outside the post. Well, he can't score every one of them. He's only scored two so far, but he's been lethal from set pieces so far. We've had good games this season. And here's Kivet Koski. And he scores! First league goal of the season for Sergio Kivet Koski. 2-0 to Knights of Sidonia and Sammy McQuiston with the assist. As you see, Gunnarsson's Knights are not creating any chances whatsoever. And here's another chance. Sammy McQuiston! And he misses the goal by a metre. And unfortunately Samuel Christen isn't exactly in the best form at the moment. He needs to be marked out every game previously. But he has another chance to score here. Samuel Christen! Touch the crossbar! And with that it's the end of the first half. So at the end of that half it is 2-0 to Knights of Sidonia. With Knights of Sidonia having 5 chances compared to their nil and 53% possession. Let's go into the second half. There's going to be changes in the second half. Javi Alonso is going to replace Raymond Hargreaves and Marius Kleen is going to replace Sergio Canamasas. This is all part of an effort to give our youngsters some more experience. As we have a chance here, there's a shit curl shot from Samuel Christen and it hits the left post. I have to wonder, is this guy ever going to score for us? He's our captain, our main striker. He was brought in to be a dangerous threat up front. We have a free kick in a dangerous position. Gavin Gorga! 
and it's easy for Sebastiano Di Napoli. Di Napoli has saved two of Gorga's free kicks who have all been targets so far, fortunately one went in. And as I was saying, Samuel Preston, oh wait, we have a chance here. Samuel Preston! Yes, 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 he scored! Finally, our captain, our main striker, the guy who was brought in to get the goals, has got his first goal of the season. Simon Quiston's header from Sergi Kijek Koski's corner made it one. He kneels to Knights of Sidonia. We have an injury to Gosselton's Knights. And it's Raymond Bengarecha, their main defender, their best defender is injured. And Gabriel Zubia, the brother of Gustavo Zubia, is on his place. So we've got the two Zubias in defence. And we're coming towards the end of the match now. And it's full time. 3-0 to the Knights of Sidonia. And they, Gosselton's Knights have had zero chances all game. We've completely dominated them. Sergi Kiliakowski, our man of the match, definitely. No need for a tactical debrief. The opponent didn't set tactics and I did. That's how I won. That's all you need to know. So let's focus on DV instead. As you can see, Pim van der Kruis is now on 16 DV after just four competitive matches. A very bright prospect indeed. Kanji Aratani and Rufus Roddick are both on 10 DV each, which is good as they both need to increase in skill this season. However, I can't see Rufus Roddick being any more than a 12 skilled defender. Pim van der Kreese is easily going to be more skilled than him. Midfield is much improved now, with Sergio Canamastas on 9 DV and Marius Kleen and Raymond Hargreaves both on 8 DV each. Xavi Alonso is still on 5 DV so he's got a bit of catching up to do compared to his fellow midfielders, but I'm sure he can get there. For the strikers though, the form is average really, as you can see Kelvin Zamota's DV is the best of them with 5, but it's still hardly amazing considering the figures that other players have. In an interesting twist, both Red FC and Roma United lost today. So as a result, Belfast City still continue to lead the league with 9 points. We are up to 2nd now thanks to that win over Gosselton's Knights. AATB are up to 3rd, Gosselton's Knights down to 4th. Hurricane United have moved up from the bottom up to 5th place. Red FC into 6th, Rome United 7th and Random Hearts are now bottom with just 1 point. And that's it for this episode. Next week we'll be playing bottom of the league Random Hearts. If you're too lazy to use the search function and would like regular access to my videos, hit that subscribe button. In fact, if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button anyway. If you'd like to play Expert 11 yourself, there's a link in the description below. I've been the A person and I'll be back next week for more Expert 11. See you guys then!